Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are back in the All About Herbs book and we're going to keep going and see what we can make. So this is part two of the series if you want to um, go and check out the first video if you haven't seen that one already. But you also don't have to. I'll give you the basic overall what we're doing here and then you can choose if you want to go back and watch part one or not. But basically I am taking this book, this book is called All About Herbs and I'm cutting it up and I'm trying to do a project of using everything out of the book as much as I can but but everything realistically so in the first video I went through and we looked at all the pages we tore a bunch out from the front here um, and we started kind of sectioning them out into things we were going to do with each of those piles so um, I the part I did off camera was I went back like I said in the last video I was going to I went and I cut around all of these images I cut them all out and then I covered them with some writing paper so that they are usable for the journal so that is those ready and waiting there uh, also in the last video we made this cute little doodad whatever that will end up being it might be a pocket it might be a flip it might be a journal card who knows um, we also cut up a bunch of this stuff that I have here that I could use as writing space this was out of the front this cute little library paper thing we've got some little text and some cute little bits I love these they're so pretty so I'm thinking today what I'm just feeling some energy towards because I was unsure what I actually wanted to do next is I think I might take some of these little black and white images and I think we might use some of these large photographs and create some journal cards with the both of them so let me just pull out some of these here what have I got? I'm just seeing what I've got here in the way of like photographs. We, we pulled out a bunch. There's a heaps of these lovely photographs that I decided I was kind of probably going to use them as bases. And that is still my intention here. So I don't know how many will get done because it's getting close to my lunch time and I'm already hungry. So with that in mind, who knows how long this video will really go because... I would like to have something to eat in the near enough future. So here is some of the bases. Let's pull out the cutting thing, which has actually got coffee spilt on it. It's pretty messy. I didn't actually realize how gross it was looking. I'm going to need to give this a wipe down perhaps. Uh, but let's pull this out and we're going to cut these down into some nice sizes that I would like to use. Let's keep it this way for tags and journal cards. So I've got this as a straight edge. I'm going to use that straight edge to help me kind of straighten the rest of this up because it's getting real wonky donkey. Um, and I don't need, uh, we're going to go this way and we're going to cut off these white sections because I don't need those. Sorry if I'm out of frame. I probably am at this point. So I do apologize for that. I will come back into frame hopefully soon enough. Is that better? Is that more in frame if I cut it up the top there? Hopefully. But there we go. That looks... Oh, that's the janky edge. I thought there was still part of it that looked a bit off. So we'll cut that part off. And now we have a tag base or journal card base or something. So let's go ahead and cut all of these down into something that looks usable and nice. So I'm trying to find what edges I know are straight edges. So that one was the edge of the page. This has been torn out, so that's not straight. And it's been cut with scissors there, so that is not straight. I am wondering, however, if the book was maybe not printed straight. Because this still looks a little off, even against the flat edge of that. So I'm just wondering if in their printing, they weren't always straight. Which is fine. Which is fine. We can handle that. We can work our way around it. But um, we'll, cut our, we'll cut these images down for something kind of straight anyway but this is the plan we're going to make these into some background backgrounds for tags and for journal cards and work our way from there I would like to think that we'll get at least one decorated um so let's aim for that look at that that's looking good I think it's quite large so I think I'm going to kind of cut it maybe in half like that and I think now they feel like a better you know that's the size of my hand that feels like a better size for me as far as journal cards I'm thinking some of these might end up in my patreon mail because I'm gonna have a lot of them and I, I have got a really fun little patreon mail 
um, club happening at the moment. I've just, as of today, finished and mailed, well, I finished them yesterday, mailed out April's Patreon mail today. So that felt really satisfying and exciting and I've achieved and I don't know, I'm just feeling really good about it. I was really proud of the things I made. I had so much fun doing it. So that's all the good things that you want, isn't it? When you're creating is to feel really satisfied and like you've done something, you've done something cool. So that again is looking big for what, like I would never use that as one journal card. So we're going to go in and once again, we're going to cut them in half. I think these would make great little tags or journal cards bases to add to my Patreon mail. So this is really exciting. So May Patreon mail might be getting some tags from the herb book. Okay, these ones are very long. I'm wondering if I want to maybe make these into four. I don't know. I don't know. This one's quite large. So let's, mm, I'm trying to figure it out. Here we go. This is what I want to do. We will cut down a bit off the top and then this jankety edge on the side here. We'll just trim that off. And now I'm wondering if I want to do, like, if that's, is that too big? It's quite big. It is quite big, but if I cut it down, is that too small? No. Actually, I am going to leave them like this. I think these could make, potentially, we could turn these into some cute, like, little floating pockets, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to keep them that size, I've decided. Um, we're going to just make all sorts of things. And that's part of this challenge for me, is that it forces me to, to do things with things that I might not have thought about. I used a wonky edge to cut that. It's alright, let's try going again this way and we'll, we'll get back around to that side. But I had pushed that up against an edge that was not straight to begin with. So, hmm. But yes, I did this, I mentioned this in the first part of this series, um, that I had have done one of these whole book projects over on Patreon in February. And it was just one of the most creatively satisfying experiences that I'd had in so long. And so I was like, I need to do this again. This is so much fun. So this is me doing this again. And I am very excited to be doing it because, like I said, it was super, super... Is that straight, actually? Yeah, it is. Um, it was super creatively satisfying. And that is what we all want, isn't it? To feel really satisfied creatively um, in our projects. So... I wanted to do this again, and last time it was with a cross-stitch book. This time I am doing it with this herb book, which is really fun because cross-stitch is something I really like. I haven't done it in years, but I like it. And herbs, I'm growing a herb garden at the moment. That one, I might just trim off that janky edge, and we might just leave that as it is. It could use a bit of a straighten. No, it's all right. We're going to leave that one as it is. Then we've got this one. Oh, I don't know how I want to deal with this one. This one feels, uh, just because it's such a big page as it is, I might try and use that maybe differently. Maybe we won't cut this one into tags. Maybe we'll find, like, turn it into an envelope. or t I don't know, just I'm trying to get, get thinky with all of the different ways I can use these because I don't need that many tags, you know? I mean, I'll, I might do if I'm making them for Patreon mail, though, to be fair, because... There's a number of you guys that were already signed up. There is only a limited number of spaces over on that tier. And it's over halfway. Well, I mean, at this stage, I don't actually know what it will be next month. when Because I'm filming this in April. I don't know what that's going to look like in May at this stage. But for April, it was over halfway full. So if you want to be a part of that male tier, jump in. Because you don't, you, you'll miss out otherwise. Um... What am I doing here? Let's cut that edge off. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's fine. Um, there. And then we'll cut this top, this wibbly wobbly top part off too. And then we've got this. We'll cut that down also into the tags journal card situation. That's so pretty. And then we've got this one here. Um... Yeah, so if you think you might be keen on a Patreon mail, don't hesitate. Go and sign up. You have to be signed up by the 15th of the month to receive that month. If you sign up after the 15th of the month, so if you sign up on the, you know, on the 
30th of April, you'll get May's mail. So you will definitely get a mail, but the April mail has already been sent out. So you will be in for May's mail. Cutting that down and look at that. Look at that. Did I get all of the photograph parts out? No, I did not. There's more. There is more. Uh, we might just, let's just cut this one down because this one makes my eyeballs happy. I don't know if I'll cut this into tags or if I might make this into a pocket or something else. I just love nasturtiums. They're so vibrant and gorgeous, aren't they? Love them. Oh, I didn't cut that very well. I've left a little white edge there. So we'll trim that off. I just think nasturtiums are very beautiful. I think I might make myself something with that one because it's just, I don't know. I would like to add that to my journal, I think. I think this would be really cute as maybe like a like a pocket or something. I'm not sure. Well, let's, let's go ahead and just work on that, shall we? Let's decide how we want to do this. Um, I think I'm going to make it into a pocket. And I'm wondering if I want to just shorten it a touch because I think it's a bit long so I'm gonna cut off this part which is pretty much just grass at the bottom I don't really feel like that part adds as much to the overall look of this uh, we'll keep it in case we want it for something but I don't think I need it on this I'm thinking a pocket of this size looks I don't know just more right for me I think that is so gorgeous okay so to turn this into a cute pocket I could use a little of this maybe and oh I do like that let's use this as a closure a closure part on the side I just think that would be kind of interesting so we're going to trim it down I'm just going to do this with scissors I'm not really perfectionist about this kind of thing but I'm just gonna line it up look at my scissors it's got paper stuck all over it um, and we're gonna just cut it at like roughly the same length that's pretty close I'm just gonna get like a little fragment off and now I'm going to fold it in half. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. It's not too complicated. I'm folding a piece of paper in half-ish. Not even half. You can see that's a little bit not perfect. But that's, again, fine. Um, so this is the top, how I want it. And then this I'm thinking about, like, adding over to the side like that. I actually want to cut it down a little more because, again, I don't want to cover all of that beautiful orange with just some plain green but a little bit kind of seems a little funky to me. I don't know. It just seems interesting having this like extra bit on the side. It just feels interesting. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to put a run a little line of tacky glue. Where if, if I can find my tacky glue. Normally it's just right here. And I'm not. It is right here. It's just underneath all of our papers. I'm just going to run a little tacky glue across the bottom. There. And that will close up our bottom of our pocket. Because obviously I don't want my pocket having everything just slide out the bottom. And then we're going to run some glue on here. Like that. And then on this side as well. Just like that. And then we will wrap it around so... That's the bottom. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to keep it in my head what I'm doing a little bit. So that gets stuck down onto there like that. And then this folds around and we will kind of press it down and seal it up. And there we go. We've made this cute little pocket that I could tip into my journal. I could um, glue it on if I wanted to or whatever. I, I think I'll probably tip it in because I like both sides. But that is a cute little pocket to add into the journal, isn't it? Um, I think that's really sweet. I think that's really sweet. Cool, we've made something. That's that's good. I'm actually thinking, uh, now that I'm looking at it, I think it would be even more interesting if I added a little notch out of the top of it. So I've got just a circle punch here. Um, these are really great to have. And then just go to halfway and punch, or halfway-ish. And then I've got this little notch it makes it more obvious to me that this is a pocket. I don't know. I just think that's really cute. And then I don't know if any of these would actually fit in there. Not quite. But I'm sure one of these. No, who knows? Maybe they're all too wide. But, you know, we could make some sort of a journaling card that then slips into the pocket to have your private writing on in this really pretty little pocket. But that's cool. We've made another thing. So that's really exciting. 
let's now have a look at some of these um, little journal cards. I'm going to try and get rid of some of these paper scraps as well because I don't think I need to keep these. These just look like superfluous nonsense. Um, so let's get rid of some of those off of the desk into the bin. Oh, there's so many of them. So, so many. Let's get rid of those because they're just taking up space. Okay, so let's, we need to back some of these, but I'm not sure if I'll worry about backing them on camera with you guys because that's quite boring. Uh, I might back them off camera. I'm looking at this little bit and this bit's kind of interesting. So we might just keep that as a little paper scrap. I'm actually just going to put it straight into my bin of paper scraps because it's kind of a unique little piece. Same with this one. I'm just tearing off the kind of bits that I'm never going to ever use and putting these little bits into my paper scrap bin so they can be used at some point. And then we've got, oh look, this actually had what it was. This is lemon balm. Apparently lemon balm. Yeah. So that's good to know what it is. I might write it on the back again so that I can just have that knowledge. I might want to include that somehow on here. Lemon balm. But these again will get backed. So that part will be covered. But I'll just know it. And I can add it in maybe somehow. So what I was thinking was I could maybe use some of these little black and white images. Like on them to decorate them somehow. Although I'm feeling like they maybe look a little small for the large size cards that I have. So perhaps we'll use these on a different project. I don't know. Um, but they are very cute. So if I'm not going to use them, what would I use? What would I use? I think they're really lovely. I could use things like words. These are not probably what I would choose to use on here because they're really bold colours for this. But like something like this looks pretty cute. I like that. Um, so I could try and find some of my words, which I have in a little tub over here. So we could kind of use these things as perhaps, I don't want sweet dreams because I don't really love the colour combination for that. Just personally, this beautiful could be nice. We could use that on one of them. Um, memory, it's too big. Unless we did them sideways, which could also work. Um, I'm just looking for some good words that I like the look of. Live the life you want. I don't know. I mean, I might pull it out. Dear to daydreams, kind of fun. Um, I've also got my label maker that I could print any words that I wanted. Um, from dreamers to doers, that's kind of fun. I cut out a lot. Heart and soul. Um... I don't need a with heart. We can cut that down to make that fit nicely. Um, I don't need too many because we're not going to realistically get these all made. But that's a good start, isn't it? It's a good start. We can do something with this. So I actually am thinking I would really love to add some little painted papers to these journal cards. And I don't have a whole lot of painted papers left. I've got this scrappy piece that's a bit busted and bent which I'm not feeling the colours on. I'm actually thinking we might be doing some painty papers in this series very soon. I think that that could be very fun so that might even be our next video. Um, what have I got here? This looks like a painty paper. Again not quite the colours I'm super looking for. I've got this really cute um, stamped paper that I made. I'm just having a dig through, guys, to see what I've got near me on hand. And there's a scrap of, like, a roll-off bit of painty paper. Um, okay, I don't have a lot right in my vicinity, I don't think. Unless it's just really shoved to the back and I can't see it. But in my vicinity, anyway, I'm not looking... And it's not looking good. So we're going to have to just make do with what we've got here. Those stars are pretty fun. So we could do something there with that. I'm thinking sort of like cutting out or tearing out a section and then adding our word on top and maybe some glitter or something. Look at that. Dear to daydream. What do I think about that? 
maybe. What do I think about it on something like that? Oh no, that loses the pink. We get a bit lost there. Um, what about a section of this busted up rolling paper? Oh, some of this could look quite good. Let's just try this. I'm just going to tear a section out. Let's just tear that out for now. I'm going to just try and remove the like, bit more white, boringy parts. And sort of something like that. Oh, I don't know. Like that. And then the Dear Today Dream on top. I'm quite liking that. What about, how would I feel about it doing the same sort of thing? With that word. Just needs to be torn down a little bit there. That does that fit on there? Just we might just tear that little part just a little bit more, and now it might be too small for this word magic. We'll see. No, it does fit and it fits on there. It's okay. What about if I turned it around? It might look better that way. Yeah, it does because of the G going down, it looks better with this down part. So we could use those. They are. They are interesting me enough. I'm also wondering, do we want another little layer in behind of something a little bit more poppy just to like lift it up a little bit? Or I've got some, this scrap of neon orange. We could like maybe layer that on somehow. Hmm. What do I think of that? I don't know. Maybe the orange isn't quite what I'm looking for. Maybe I want green or pink or maybe not neon at all. What do I think about it? I kind of like that neon pink. Let's try that. I'm actually going to need to... Oh, no. Actually, I've got plenty. I thought I was nearly out of neon pink. But, nope, there is still plenty in there. Okay. Do we want to go torn again? Or do we want to um, have it straight cut? Straight cut would mean I can control it a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and glue down my word onto my painty paper. I really love adding painty papers onto things like this. I just think it gives such texture that is not easily replicated in another like like you can't print the texture the same. You can you can try, but I don't think it really has the same magic that like actually textured painty papers really have. Okay. Let's stick that one on there. Like Okay, do I want to try and tear around it, or do I want it square cut? That's the next thing. Mm. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> how how fortunate. Um. Okay, I'm also noticing this old star stamp that I made ages ago. I just found it in amongst this box of like stuff that's been everywhere. And I'm almost wondering if I want to kind of add... This is just going all over the show, isn't it? Um, but I really think I want to stamp these stars on here. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can get this to work. I'm not sure if this stamp has got any ink on it or not at this point. Let me just really get in there. There we go. Okay, now I can see it's starting to get maybe a bit inkier. I'm just wondering if... Yeah, okay, I think I do like this. I think this is going to add... Again, a little bit of extra interest. I just sort of plop on some stars in the background. What do you think of that? I think that's looking cool. I think it adds another layer. Some onto this one too. I like it. This is this. I made this oh just so long ago. I don't even know when I made it. I think it might have been even four or five years ago I made this stamp. I don't know. And I hadn't seen it in absolutely ages. I just was looking through a box of bits this morning and found it and yeah. Thought let's let's grab that out and play with it. Okay, that did not stamp very well on the point. So let's see if we can line that up again. And if I can roll that up there. That's better. Okay, so we're just going to put three stamps on to each of those. And we're going to put my glue lid back on. Um, 
I'm actually thinking I do want it torn, the pink paper. That was good that we did that little stamping break, wasn't it? It helped me have a little bit of time to think. I think I want it torn. I don't think it matters if it's not showing everywhere around the edge. So I'm just going to tear a section out, start tearing it down on both sides so that we've got a bit of a torn edge there to begin with. Um, and then I'm going to sort of just like loosely tear it to match the shape of the thing. What do we think of that? I quite like it. I need to just tear down this corner a touch and this part a little bit too. How does that look? Good. How does it fit? Not bad. It's over the edge a little bit, but I'm fine with that. I think that looks cute. Okay. Look at what we're making. How cool. This is fun. Okay, I'm getting into the zone here, but I am also getting hungry and hungrier, so mm. we'll make a few and then we'll we'll stop, <laughs> I suppose. I mean, I was never intending to go all day, was I? You guys will be bored out of, your, out of your minds if I kept going for too long, but it's very fun. I really love this whole book project. It really does make me have to get thinking and come up with some interesting ideas that I maybe wouldn't have I just a lot of it is that I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't been forced to do it so I like how this card's looking I will just tear that little excess bit off the side there um this again will get backed I might round these corners even that could be fun but I'll probably do that once I've backed it so that I don't have to do it twice makes sense um and then let's also I'm thinking add maybe a little bit of the neon pink paint pen And glitter. And glitter. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Let's just add a few little... Look how cool this fun. Look how cool this fun. Huh. That's some good words. Look how cool and fun this is with the neon pink. I love it. Okay, we're going to just leave that one to dry for a wee min while we work on this one. And then... Oh, I've wiped off that bit of pink there and wiped some pink onto there. So, go me. Let's just gently pick that up plop it out of the way for a moment and then we will add some pink on this one again I think the pink is going to look really good I'm just tearing out some more of this pink paper I like that about there I'm actually thinking I might glue it down and then tear it out let's try that let's see if that's helpful because then I'm not trying to hold it and tear it at the same time. Like it'll just be stuck. There we go. Oh, now how did I have that there, I think? There we go. Okay, let's pop the lid back on this for a wee moment. We will need it again in a second though. Um, and let's just tear around the edges. These pieces are not going to be wasted either. Absolutely not. They will be used. I am absolutely fine with this sort of a process with having little bits torn out. Look how cool that is. Oh, I love that. Oh, so fun. Okay, let's glue that one on. And we'll do the paint pen. And then we'll add some glitter. Just giving a nice wee smudge of glue on there and then plop that on. I think this is looking so magical and fun, isn't it? So pretty. I love, oh, I just I barely got it on there at all. It just went straight on my mat. There we go. Maybe just a few up there as well. Okay, I like that. That's looking very nice. I'm going to leave that to dry for a short while. I'm wondering if this one will be dry now. Let me just take a look. It's almost dry. It's not quite there, but it's almost there. So while I'm waiting for that to be properly dry, maybe we could come back to this little thing. Maybe we could add a little... I quite like that on there. What do you think of that? I think that looks quite cute. I don't know what it means for this, but it just adds something kind of interesting to look at, a bit of a focal point. Um, 
it does mean that this is my front whatever side I put it on and I did this feels like the front what is that yeah okay this feels like the front so we're going to put it on here it feels like the front because there's just more flowers on that side than there is on this side like both is both's great both could be the front so now I'm thinking of maybe I want to add some I'm just looking at what colors I've got in paint pen world that could be included. I'm honestly thinking this one maybe more so than the neon. I didn't shake that at all. Give us a shake to shake. Do I want to add a combo? Maybe some yellow as well on here because I've obviously got some orange and some, maybe, let's do all three. Let's go with that one. I'm being wild. I'm going to go with those three colors. Just, oh, it really pops, doesn't it? That neon orange. I really love the neon Poskas. I just think they are such beautiful colors. Okay, and now we'll add in this. So this color was called bright yellow don't understand it because it's very much orange to me this one is the fluorescent orange and this one is the ochre and we're just sort of making three clusters don't really know why I mean three rule of threes is often a pretty used sort of design thing so we've got three little clusters of dots and I do think that looks very sweet okay we made a pocket there done let's have a look and see if this is dry now oh basically close enough I am thinking gold maybe glitter on this I'm thinking gold for all three of the ones we've made however I do have this pink it's just a really different this is a different sort of pink so I'm not thinking that one maybe um, although I've got this pretty purple one that could actually be very beautiful on here too um, and this one often is drawing me in also okay I'm just looking at the options no maybe I like the blue for this one because we've got a blue title and then I think gold is going to be on this one and the pocket so that's my my final answer. Actually, let's go with gold first. No, actually, let's go with blue first because it's the most dry. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Making sensible decisions here. I'm using the back of a paintbrush to help adhere this glitter. Ugh, doesn't the glitter just make everything more beautiful? It does. The answer is yes, it does. Glitter is the best. I'm just sort of smearing it on in blobs around the place. I have not really put it directly on the corners, and often I do, but because I think I'm going to come back and round the corners, I, that's just going to end up cutting all of that glitter off. So I'm just sort of going out elsewhere this time. And that is superstar beautiful. Okay, that's that one done. Move that over to the side. Scrape any extra glitter back into this little bottle that and then we'll go in with the gold on the other ones oh I'm in love with this okay look at that isn't that just like magic to you that is just pure delight this is quite thick this one so I'm just going to try and sort of smear it up a bit because otherwise it's just going to take 44 years to dry because it's super thick and chunky uh, and that's mostly I think because of how it's aging it's getting a little older so it's just starting to really thicken up which is fine that is glorious popping that one to the side and then we'll add a bit of glitter onto this pocket too because glitter on everything is the way to go and I'm going to try and semi avoid directly on that edge because I'm probably going to tip this in to a journal which means I'm going to need to have tape on here and the glitter I just find it a little bit harder to tape things in on top of the glitter it's not like a big deal you can do it but I just know that this is going to be helpful to future Lydia if it's not 
glued like that. I think I'm going to put glitter on the back, but obviously I'm not going to do that now because then I'll have nowhere to sit it. So I'll probably go in, probably off camera, uh, and add some paint dots onto the back of this as well and some glitter. But, oh, I thought I had a wet wipe in here. I do not. That's fine. Um, but that's probably the plan for that. And I think that I'm going to call this one a video for now, guys, because I can feel myself just getting hungrier and hungrier. And you guys do not want to be around me in the next few minutes when I'm getting too hungry and cranky. So <laughs> let's leave it there. But that is the second part. This part, this series might take me all year to finish. Who knows? Because there is so much to do with this. And I want to do it like pretty predominantly all on camera. Other than like small things like I'll just do more of the same on the back. You know, I can do that off camera. But I want to kind of make most of the things with you guys. So... I don't know. You guys might hate this. You guys might absolutely hate the series. And if you do, let me know. Um, but if you also like this series, let me know. Because it's good to have feedback. Because I just never know what you guys enjoy and what you're hating. So feedback is always good. Um, yeah. So that's what we've made today. We've made two journal cards. And this cute pocket. Love it. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.